It's like use every pan you can before you do the washing up. That's living off grid. Saving water. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. <clears throat> Bit of a busy day today. Um, we aren't they all busy? I just seem to say that all the time. A um, couple of things we just want to get achieved before the weekend. So we're picking up Darren's social security number. I've got some washing to do. We need a couple of bits from Castella Branco and we've organised to meet um, Andres and Ghidra from Portugal it is because they're also in Castelo Branco taking a little guffy to the vet to get him organised with what he needs. So we said we might as well meet up and have some lunch. So we're going to do that as well and then we'll be all organised for the weekend and also for the stuff we need for our biometric card. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Come on then, Max, in the car. There we go, Max. Whoops. And up. Good boy. Good boy. Ready to go. And before we set off for the day, I've just got to go and collect some water so that we don't have to collect it when we get back. So because we're going into Castello Branco today, we're going to take the little car. So what we've done is we've brought the truck up to our land and we're swapping now over to the little car. It's just a little bit nippier, a little bit speedier, uh, in and out of car park spaces, just a little bit easier. So we're just swapping over now into the little. A lot uh, more fuel efficient. Uh. Good point, fuel efficiency, <laughs> definitely. Just doing a few domestic chores. What are we doing? Getting rid of our waste. Yeah. Recycling our waste. So we're all swapped over, got our washing, got water for Max. Got Max? Let's go! Are you ready? You're all strapped in. So, first stop today is Agrologia. Um, we're going to pick up a piece of um, weed suppressant fabric or more sort of plastic fabric really uh, plastic should I say um, to put over the house structure as we're starting to build it the next job that we'll be doing for the house structure on the land is uh, is the floor and we are due for a bit of rain coming in the next few days so we just want to make sure that if we do put the floor down that it's not going to get uh, it's not going to get wet. So yeah, so Elaine's just popped into Agrologia to pick up six meters of plastic.
done. So it's been quite an eventful morning already. Darren had wanted me to vlog all day, but I'm still not comfortable with doing it around lots of people. The laundrette was empty as I came in, but before the door even closed, there were lots of people here. So I thought, well, I'll go and I'll take Max for a walk and that will show you sort of around Castella Branco a little bit. We hadn't set off very long before I saw something on the footpath and I was looking at it and looking at it and I was like, oh my God, processionary caterpillars. So I had to yank Max away really quickly before we got to the park and uh, a gentleman sort of saw and was like, ooh, I think he got away with that one. Quite lucky, because Max was very close to them. So I came back and got him a drink and uh, thought, right, my washing's not finished. I need a coffee. So we'll go and film having a coffee. Nope, because the whole cafe filled up as soon as I sat down outside and then I just gave up. <laughs> so the cafe, the laundrette is now empty and the washing is all done. Darren has got his social security number and I keep finding little treats, little Max treats that have been through the wash. So I'm making a little pile and he'll be really happy when he comes back to, uh, to have them. So, we've, uh, <laughs> we are going to meet um, Andres and Ghidra from Portugal it is to have some lunch. But then they came into the laundrette as well. So I said, so um, Ghidra has gone to the vet with Guffy to get his vaccinations and I said to Darren, go, you two go and get a coffee and I'll just stay while the washing finishes. So there you go, you're all caught up so far. as we've been out a few hours uh, Max hasn't had his lunch yet so uh, Elaine's bought him some ham <laughs> and he's definitely enjoying that look at his face <laughs> and my fingers ha! <laughs> be gentle Max It's all good. Hmm, finger licking good, Ma. All done. See, all gone. I think you enjoyed that. All done. Oh, no, oh, we can lick the packet mm -hmm. too. Uh, just to get those molecules out of there. Mm. All done. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't there when we left. <laughs> no, let's have a look. Come here, Max, let's have a look at this. Mm. Oh, very nice. Somebody's left us a little parcel. Oh. Some eggs. Perfect. And? Oh, wow. A little uh, cloth, like a... 
Portuguese cockerels on. Very nice. Very nice. Is there a note in there? Let's have a look. Mm. Wonder who it's from. Nothing. No. Oh. Oh well, that's Very lovely. Nice. That's I wonder absolutely... if it's from Elise because yeah. that's the box that she gave us and oh. the purple bag as well. Oh, so I mean, you've... not exactly the same carrier bag, but you know, she had a purple carrier bag that she. Ooh. So I think that's a present from Elise down the road. It's a lady down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's really nice. Oh well, we we'll see her most ish days, so yeah. we'll have to go and say thank you very much, assuming yeah. of course that it is her. <laughs> yeah. See. Have you left something for us? <laughs> That's really Lovely. nice. Come That's on, really nice. Oh well, we might as well show the people what else we've got from the oh, yeah, gentleman down the road. Yeah, just. So yeah, we'll show you them when we get in, which is re okay. also really lovely. Come on, then, good boy, Max. Can close the door so Max doesn't go. Hmm. Yep, light on bit. Oh yeah. There mm. we go. I can't get in because Max is in the way. Always. Okay. Yes, so... So this is a gentleman down the road. He has just started keeping goats or he's just had babies? His the, goats, the have, goats had... have had kids and yeah. he's just started making cheese. So I think he's like got loads of milk. Yeah. But... Isn't that amazing? Because his goats have just kidded, so yeah. he's now got lots of milks, so he's making... He's learning to make cheese. Learning, yeah. yeah. So he's I think that's a, pretty good learn, that. That's a very nice cheese, that's quite a big cheese. It's, uh, there's a lot of cheese there, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, just a fresh cheese, not like um, any yeah. particular... Perfect. So I look forward to having a taste of that, maybe with our tea this evening. It would mm. be really nice, because you're supposed to eat them quite fresh as well, aren't you? I think so, yes. Uh -huh. That sort of cheese. Brilliant. Wow. So we'll leave that for later. We'll get up the land now and yes. have a look at the garden. Yeah, because we want to take Max sort of for a walk, so... Yeah, we'll take him up We'll the take land. you up to the garden and have a look at that. Perfect. Here we are. <laughs> Max always thinks, yeah, great, we're going for a walk. And then we come onto the land and he's like, oh, okay then. <laughs> but he would rather go for a walk. Um, so we just, I thought we would just update you with how everything in the polytunnel is doing. Because during the day in here, it's baking hot. And then on a night, it's freezing cold. And I have had some successes and I've had some failures. So at the moment, um, our successes are, celeriac, which are these nice ones here, almost ready to go out. Just a last night or two of chilly weather and then they should survive. I also have some carrots that have just started to come up and are doing really well. And then I will plant more outside just when we plant seeds outside the blinking ants nick them all so we either end up with nothing or you find where they've hidden them and then a big bloom of seeds all erupts in one place um, we have lots of lettuce these are all lettuce almost ready to go out as well none of my pumpkins came up and this was well I'll tell you the story the majority of them were bought seeds some of them quite expensive like um, Ichikakuri or Jack B. Little pumpkins and the only ones that did come up were the ones in this section and they were the ones I saved from a squash that my neighbour gave me um, but then they came up, they were really strong and vigorous and then we had a couple of nights of really minus weather and phew, they just went to mush. So I have set some more of those away in these little pots behind me 
but they just went in um, yesterday so nothing to see there um, what else do we have we have more lettuce um, lots of different leaf things so lettuce that you just sort of pick and come again some little um, cresses rockets that kind of thing I'm going to put a lot more leafy stuff in because we love salads so we'll do I'll do that this week um, I've just set away some more kale because the kale that I planted outside again the ants stole everything bar one and I only had one kale plant that actually came up and survived this one is do you remember I showed you the tomatillos that our friend in town gave us well I squeezed the seeds out of one and put them in here and I'm hoping that that is them so yeah just did it straight from squeezing the seeds so I planted them in the green and that's the way they go hopefully uh, finally my beans hmm. I was kindly given beans by my neighbour he said he hadn't grown them he didn't know what kind they were they just looked like a, a, a no, sort of a standard bean not a broad bean or anything um, so I set those away they took a long time to germinate and then when they did it was quite sporadic but then they also got frosted and frozen so I think what I'll do is I will compost all of these and then put some more in as well so that's it really for that's it really for the uh, the greenhouse other than I did get a couple of blackberry bushes in Lidl um, they were only four euros and they're really healthy all ready to bud wanting to go so I'll just give them another day or two for the the cold nights to sort of move on and then I'll get those two out in the the food forest with the other trees and fruit bushes that we've got out there that's it everything else in the garden is just ticking along the the broccolis have done fine the onions I've got lots of onions in I've done them all at different um, times last week I planted some leeks and some lettuce that I bought from little plug plants and um, the garlic that is the first thing that went in that's just sort of sitting there doing what it needs to do for the rest of the summer so I think we're going to get ourselves away because Max has been so patient and we're going to take him for a walk and we will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> Just checking the weather reports.